Hello everyone, here I am doing exercise 2.2, chapter is fractions and decimal of class 7. Second question, question is multiply and reduce to the lowest form if possible. If possible means if we can able to cancel them, we have to cancel and bring it to the lowest form or the reduced form. So first we have to multiply and then we have to reduce it. So let's start this. First question, so we have 2 by 3 multiplied by 2, 2 upon 3. So you can see we have a mixed fraction here. We have to first convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction and then we're going to multiply. So this is equal to 2 by 3 multiplied by. So when you're opening this mixed fraction, you have to multiply denominator and the whole number. First multiply, 2 3s are 6. Whatever answer you got, you have to add with the numerator. So 6 plus 2 is 8. So 8 by 3. Now, if possible, we have to cancel, but you can see we cannot cancel number. We cannot cancel number which are present in both in numerator, like 2 and 8 both goes in 2 table, but we cannot cancel because they both are new in the numerator. Similarly, this 3 also we cannot cancel this 2 because they both are in denominator. When you're cancelling, the number has to be in a numerator and denominator. If they are not, then we don't cancel it. So just multiply them. 2 8s are 16. When you're multiplying, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. 2 8s are 16 and 3 3s are 9. So answer is 16 by 9. But we have to again convert this back into the mixed fraction because this is improper fraction. If you don't know what is improper fraction, when a, a numerator is greater than denominator, it's called improper. Remember, all the mixed fractions are improper fractions. When you open it up, it's, they all are improper fractions. Now we're going to write it back into the mixed fraction. So we have a 9 in the denominator. So with 9, uh, we have to, in the 9 table, we have to check a number which is closer to 16. So we know 9 twos are 18, but that's a greater than 16. So we cannot take uh, 18 there. We're going to take 9 ones are 9. So 9 ones are 9. So how much more we have to add to get 16? It is 7. So we'll get here 7 in the numerator. So you can cross check your answer. 9 ones are 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 by 9 we got. So second question. 2 by 7 multiplied by 7 by 9. Now here you can cancel the numbers and then you can um, like you can uh, uh, multiply them or you can multiply you can cancel them. I'm going to cancel now itself so multiplication will become easy. So 7 and 7 will get cancelled. 7 ones are 7 ones are and here we're left with 2 and 9 we cannot cancel so multiply them. 2 ones are 2 and 1 nines are 9. So 2 by 9 is the answer. Then the next one. This is third one. We have 3 by 8 multiplied by 6 by 4. Here we can cancel a number. Yes, we can cancel. We can cancel. Uh, you can either cancel 6 and 4 in 2 table or you can cancel 6 or 8 in 2 table. So here I'm going to cancel 6 and 4 in 2 table. 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. I cannot cancel any numbers further, so just multiply. So 3 3s are 9. When you multiply the numerators, it will be 3 3s are 9. And denominator, 8 2s are 16. So answer is 9 upon 16. Then the next one. So in the next one, we have 9 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 5. Here again, we cannot cancel numbers, though we uh, 9 and 3 goes in 3 table and 5 and 5 also goes in 5 table. We cannot cancel them because they both are numerator or in denominator. So we cannot cancel them. So just multiply 9, 3 is at 27. So 27 divided by or 5, 5 is at 25. So 27 upon 25 is the answer for the next one. Then fifth question. Here we have 1 by 3 multiplied by 15 by 8. Here you can see we can cancel 3 and 15 because 3 is in denominator and 15 is in numerator. It will be 3 1s are 3 5s are 15. So this is equal to multiply the numbers 1 5s are 5 upon 1 8s are 8. That's it. So 5 by 8 is the answer. Then the next one. This is the sixth one. 11 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 10. Here also we cannot cancel any numbers. So we're going to multiply. So 11 3s are 33 upon 2 10s are 20. So 33 upon 20. But if you observe, 
this is improper fraction right because 33 is greater than 20 we have to write it back into the mixed fraction so 20 will come in the denominator so here the whole number we have to choose so we have to select the number which is closer to 33 so 20 ones are 20 22 are is 40 which is greater than 33 so we're going to take 20 ones are 20 but we want 33 here right so so 21 is a 20 to this 20 how much more we should add to get 33 you can subtract them to get the answer 33 minus 20 you can do it you'll get the answer 13 so 13 will come here so 1 13 upon 20 is the answer and the last one seventh one 4 by 5 multiplied by 12 by 7 here also we cannot cancel numbers so multiply them 4 12 is 48 and 5 7 is 35 so 48 upon 35 is the answer but again this is uh, improper fraction so we have to convert uh, into a mixed fraction so this will be equal to so 35 we got here in the denominator so 35 ones are 35 how much more 35 2 is 70 it's quite greater than 48 so we're going to take 35 ones are 35 and how much more you should add to get 48 so 35 ones are 35 to this 35 we have to add some number to get 48 so what is that number so to get that we can subtract it so 48 minus 35 when you do it it will be 13 so 1 13 upon 35 is the answer so I hope this question is clear how to solve. In case you have further question or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.